What up, everybody? It's TBiz here, and we finally got a new um, added alumni member to the rock, metal, thrash, whatever you want to say, uh, call it, collection, pretty much. Uh, I would say it's a mix between, man, proto-metal, punk, speed metal, thrash, whatever you want to call it, and, and new wave of British metal. And yeah, so it's a, out of all these figures so far that have come out with. But uh, today we've got Vic Rattlehead. Good old um, Vic Rattlehead from Megadeth. First time I ever heard Megadeth, I was in either 8th grade or 7th grade. This could have been about 1990, 91, 92 maybe even. And um, I think a guy in a computer class in junior high school, Robert Andreas, uh, let me borrow the P Cells cassette. Took it home, listened to it, fell in love with it. Before that, I'd only heard Metallica and Anthrax, Exodus, because they were on a big tour earlier, like when I was in sixth grade from 89, I think, 89, 90 or whatever. And Halloween also, they were on a big tour. And I think what got me into music, more or less, or more what listened to music was Guns N' Roses. But I discovered Metallica after that. And it wasn't until I think my first girlfriend ever one of my first puppy love girlfriends or whatever in junior high when I was in eighth grade, um, she showed me Slayer and Overkill and Testament. So I got into all that. So everything kind of just fell into place via like, I guess like sixth grade through junior high. And then by ninth grade, I was already seasoned pro. I had already, yeah, knew enough about punk rock and thrash and even started hard listening to hardcore like uh, Bad Brains and stuff like that. And um, if you consider punk or hardcore or whatever, but I consider them the Godfathers of hardcore along with the Gymnastic Front and uh, also Minor Threat. Anyways, let's get into this review because uh, I've been waiting for this figure probably ever since I was a little kid or a teenager or preteen, whatever you want to call it. Ever since before I had a license, so to speak. But yeah. But um, yeah, this is Vic Rattlehead himself, the, the master dealer of uh, peace because peace sells, but who's buying? I like the back because it's kind of a funny homage to the um, kind of the glammed out pictures that they had on the back of the uh, Peace Cells record. And uh, here's a list of all this. And it's cool because I wish I kind of had this on vinyl to have in the background. That would have been smart to pick up. But um, yeah, Side 1, Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, Peace Cells, Devil's Island, uh, Side 2, Good Morning, Black Friday, Bad Omen, Night Superstitious, and My Last Words. Pretty much a really, really good album. I'd have to say, Wake Up Dead's probably one of my favorites. Probably the whole first side's probably my top favorite. Um, good Morning Black Friday's a good one, too. The, the whole album's really good, but it's probably the more first half of the record's probably my favorite, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And once again, let's look at the... Let's see. Should have a listing of... Um, cause you know it's got to be Repka. Repka always does the, the metal stuff, and he's done their stuff originally anyways. So, but I don't know why they don't list his name on here. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Illustration, Ed Repka, 2019. So, yeah. It's a new uh, Ed Repka drawing, so that's awesome. And another thing, too, is I made, I think when I was in high school, can't remember what year, but I made a paper mache uh, Vic Rattlehead head out of uh basically a large balloon and uh paper mache some cardboard and i made the um little eye pieces with um like soda cans and the side these little earpiece things with soda cans and the hooks in the mouth with just uh bendy wires that we had at school that were like these just kind of free you can get at the like lowe's or home depot but they're just like a real bendable type of aluminum like kind of wire or whatever that's kind of thick that you can just bend or wrap around stuff. And I had it just going in and out of his mouth. But yeah, I wish I still had that thing. It, it looked like crap, but it was something I was, I don't know. I, it was cool about art class. You could do, you know, creative stuff, stuff you wanted to do. And that was one thing I wanted to do. I was like, I love Megadeth. And um, I had to do that. And uh, one time, I believe I was uh sophomore in high school i got an argument and i think this is by the time countdown uh, was it was no yeah, yeah countdown extinction was out and um i got an argument with some friends i was spending the night at my friend uh chef dan's house before he was chef dan 
and I got in an argument with my friend Casey, and uh, yeah, he was like, oh, Megan, that sucks. I got so enraged that I pretty much walked at least a couple, if not a few miles in the rain, in the dark, like at two or three in the morning home, which wasn't too far from home, but still, it was a hefty walk from back then. And it was rainy and dark and past curfew hours, so to speak, for somebody who was of that age. But anyways, let's get this figure ripped open. Enough of my babbling about negative history in my own personal life. Let's check this out. Because this figure is kind of, I feel like it was kind of delayed, too. And Dave Mustaine is also one of my favorite people to, I love listening to his interviews. The whole, him and Junior, um, Dave Ellison, I, I love listening to their uh, interviews and stuff or watching their interviews on YouTube. I can just, for some reason, like him and Ian Mackay from Fugazi, so for some reason their voice or just listening to them talk kind of puts me at ease. I don't know why it just is though. But there he is with his attache case. A pretty cool figure, I like him. He looks like a used car salesman kind of too, but yeah, that's pretty funny. So he can now go together with my council of evil with everybody else. So that's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for Ozzy. My buddy's dad thinks Ozzy looks stupid, but I don't know. I'm going to get me an Ozzy, the werewolf Ozzy or whatever. That's going to happen. But yeah, this is a cool figure. That's just about right. <laughs> I like the head sculpt is pretty cool. He did a good job on that. And it still has that derpy looking, you know, like I say, you know, the appeal is it has that derpy looking vintage Star Wars look to it. So yeah, that kind of style. So it's really great. Yeah, the briefcase doesn't do much, just kind of holds on to it. And he's gonna sell some piece or some whatever, some deeds to the U.S. or something. He's going to screw somebody over. He's going to, I don't know. Nowadays, work to get somebody impeached, which I think is, I don't know, whatever. Teach their own. But, yeah. It's looking Vic Rattlehead. I like him. I dig him. The card's awesome. I hated to take him out, but I'm going to save the card anyways for prosperity or whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. Dig this figure. He's awesome. Now he can hang out with his buddies. Or he can be the ringleader behind this, this society of evil or whatever. <laughs> it's awesome. But um, yeah, let's look at Vic Rattlehead reaction figure. From Super 7. Yep, they're pretty pricey now. And I don't... Uh, it is what it is. If you can afford it, yeah. If not, oh well. But um, thanks again for watching, y'all. And uh, more videos. And so definitely more uh, reaction figure uh, reviews. Definitely on the way tonight. And um, yeah, thanks for everybody subscribing tuning in the channel and stuff and oh here's some cardboard and i always appreciate it and um yeah more videos definitely on the way all right later y'all have a good one